Deutsche Telekom has developed a new model-driven orchestration approach, which it is calling Move On, to deliver its future orchestration and automation needs. We caught up with Sebastian Zecklin, head of OSS Architecture and Innovation at Deutsche Telekom, to learn more. With the model-driven orchestration, we want to leverage internally what we do in the external standardization, for example, in Etsy ZSM. And you know that ZSM wants to not reinvent the wheel, but wants to leverage uh, solutions coming from standards or bodies, coming from the open source, coming out of TM Forum, bring them together, glue them into one architecture. And we, with the model-driven orchestration inside uh, Deutsche Telekom, want to leverage such a solution and want to create such a, a solution for Deutsche Telekom in order, uh, in uh, last extent, to serve our business. We look for building a platform for Deutsche Telekom, which can be shared across multiple instances, for example, multiple NUTGOs. So we would have one platform uh, in Germany, another platform instance in uh, Hungary, in Slovak, etc., etc. But they would be differentiated by the models. Look what ONAP is doing. It's used in AT&T. It's used in uh, China Mobile, Orange, Bell Canada. And they all differentiate with the different models. And this is what we envision also for Deutsche Telekom, that you can reuse the platform across different instances, maybe even different domains, you know, like for the access, for the transport, for the core, with each of that different models. But this needs to be created and we will need partners. And this was one of the messages I gave also uh, on the conference. And um, basically, it's not said that it's open source, closed source, can be both. But um, so far, our assumption is we will need a platform. The Telco believes it is important to collaborate within the industry, especially at the infrastructure layer, focusing competition on the service layer through differentiated customer solutions. We as Telcos, from my opinion, we do not differentiate much by on the infrastructure layer. So is it really worth uh, to have a better cloud than the competition? Probably not. The differentiation from our perspective is more on the service layer. And uh, this is where it comes down. Uh, so far, CSPs are much more focused on that infrastructure layer, and we must learn uh, from our perspective to move to that service layer in order uh, uh, to best meet our customer uh, needs. Deutsche Telekom says there is pressing need to defend IP service creation, given that telcos have lost so many other services to OTT companies. The money is where the customers are, and today we own uh, or earn our money from our IP services. So I assume that control point is really, really crucial for us. Um, the but is with softwareization, with um, uh, the moving of services into the cloud, other competitors might uh, uh, surface also on that area. And I think Alex w was pretty clear on that we should define also that uh, control point regarding the uh, service creation.